Hey everybody, this is Tankenstein, formerly known as Wild and Wooly Gaming, coming to you live from Middle North, the center of everywhere to bring to you today a video on sport mode. I'll be going over two or three things, depending on how you see it, that sport mode does for your vehicle, and I will also be answering the question that a lot of people have been asking, can you turn on and shut off your sport mode while your vehicle is in motion? A lot of people ask the question, far fewer people have the answer, so I'll be going over that. So stay tuned. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. It all means a ton to me, and I appreciate each and every single view, comment, like, subscriber, everything. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. That being said, uh, I'll get into it. So number one, what does sport mode do? What is the point of sport mode? Sport mode is there to make your car feel sportier. Unfortunately, in the modern world, we have cars that have become basically uh, appliances. So you hear that term being thrown around with Camrys, Corollas, some Civics, so on and so forth, even base model Elantras. You know, basically you're just basic economy or, or low-end family sedans, you know, nothing that really makes people excited. So sport mode at its most basic and probably universal tenet is there to make your steering tighter. So over the years, steering has become easier for people, especially as electric steering has become more of a uh, prominent feature in vehicles. As vehicles have gotten away from even hydraulic power steering, you're not able to feel the road as much and your steering is much more vague. So having sport mode tightens up your steering pretty substantially. Now it doesn't change how you, you know, it doesn't make it so that rather than let's say two and a half turns of the wheel, you have a full uh, I guess you could say is the max that your wheel can turn and it doesn't make it like from two and a half to two or anything like that, but it does stiffen it up a bit. So this is useful if you ever want to have a, a sportier experience. Let's say if you know of a canyon run or, or there's a sort of a slalom road that no one really knows about except for you. That's when you want to put sport mode on because it really tightens it up. Now, if you're looking to just drive in regular traffic, it might not be for you. Um, and I'll get into that because there's a second feature of sport mode that really makes it a little bit more annoying to be in regular traffic. But again, it's still a really cool feature. So that being said, into the second feature and the first and second feature kind of play off each other. Sport mode for the most part, and it, this kind of depends on the manufacturer. There's no one like regulated sport mode that you know each manufacturer has to have. But again, these are general uh, sport mode rules. Your sport mode will likely, most likely, have a feature where it keeps the RPMs up higher for a longer period of time. So in my vehicle, uh, in my 2017 Hyundai Elantra Sport, if I'm on the highway and I'm at 3,500 or 4,000 RPMs, let's say if I'm gassing it a little bit, uh, and then I get off the RPMs, maybe I'm switching lanes or there's a car in front of me and I want to slow down without putting the brakes on, my RPMs will stay up higher. And this is especially useful when I'm on those twists and turns. When I'm merging onto the highway, your car will maintain your RPMs so that you will be able to accelerate pretty much instantly. So this is not, for the most part, I, and I cannot speak to every manufacturer's, uh, I guess you could say, plans on sport mode this will for the most part not make your car accelerate quicker and that's kind of part three right there it could i'm not saying it won't but for most cars it's not going to do that so let's say if your car on average without sport mode is zero to 60 in 6.3 seconds and with you know it's not going to make it with sport mode six seconds what it will do however is make it so that you have instant power coming out of a turn or after you've already accelerated but you're taking your foot off the gas so that your rpms are higher and you're already at a more advantageous point in the power band so you know rather than getting those the same horsepower that you might get at 2000 rpms which is more likely than not going to be significantly lower than at 4000 uh, again you get the 4000 horsepower or the 4000 rpm horsepower which is more likely than not going to be significantly better than on the lower end of the power band so that being said uh the last thing that i kind of want to go over is can you put your sport, sport mode on and can you shut it off during regular driving so i try not to 
Um, you know, I, I'm kind of old fashioned that way. I don't really like messing with driver settings too much while I'm driving, but it is perfectly safe unless for whatever reason, your, your, um, your booklet, you know, that comes with your vehicle does say, do not change your sport mode on and off unless it says strictly against it. You can do it. It's not going to change anything. Um, you know, like I said, it just stiffens up the steering a little bit. And for me, it just keeps my RPMs higher for longer. But for other vehicles, it may also help you to accelerate better by remapping your ECU uh, on the fly temporarily. But these are not things that should mess up your engine. And you should, again, unless your owner's manual says otherwise, you should be able to do it while you're driving, switching on and off. Either way, again, this is Tankenstein. Thank you so much for watching. It means a ton to me. Uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you know, I, I truly hope you guys have a great day, and uh, see you guys on the other side. Take care, everyone.